Beach Volleyball World Tour rounds off. It's Brazil leg with a double gender open. Eight teams left battling it out for the six podium places available. All the action to come right here in Vitoria. Hello and welcome, Clayton Lucas here with you as we get ready for the women's semi-final. And up next, it will be Australia taking on Brazil. Louise Borden and Taliqua Clancy seeded fourth. And they're up against the number one seeds, Larissa Franca Mastrini and Talita De Rocha. And to this, Larissa and Talita up against Borden and Clancy for a place in the final and a guaranteed podium finish. Teams have just finished the warm-up. The weather has been magnificent here all week, actually. The uh, sun has just drifted down behind the high-rise buildings that grace the seafront. We are right on the beach here in Victoria. We are now cast in shadow. We are the lights from the grandstands. We'll uh, light up the court. The players ready for their introductions before, though, we meet the players who are going to meet the referee. From the USA, Suzanne Lowry is in charge today. And the second referee from Canada is Lucy Gillard. No doubt there'll be a few nerves for the referees, just as there will be for the players before they step out onto court. As is usually the case, we'll know if the referees have had a good game because we won't notice them. All our attention will be on the players who are now about to make, make their way out on court. We will start with the number four seeds with Australia. Taliqua Clancy, she's the captain, 23 from Adelaide, lives in Adelaide. She's 1 metre 84, 6 feet. She's been playing for eight seasons, has three third places, three bronze medals. Last was in Porridge in 2015, $154,000 in prize money, and her playing partner, Louise Borg, 34 from Mitchell, also six feet, a lefty, eight seasons on tour as well. Best finish for her was a silver medal in Stan Wonky in 2009, $258,000 in prize money. And they have got a tall order today as they take on the number one seeds from Brazil. Talita and Larissa, a team already booked their ticket to the Olympic Games in Rio by virtue of being one of the host teams. This is their first Final Four of 2016 as Talita comes out to a huge roar from the Partizan fans. 33 years of age from Rio, lives in Rio. She's 181, 511. 14 seasons, 29 gold medals, 1.2 million dollars in Silver 17 bronze. Away we go then for the first semi final. It's Australia in red serving, Brazil in yellow receiving. This for a place in the final here in Victoria at the FRVB. It's for the World Tour Open. First side against the way of the number one seeds. Currently down by Tanita. Line roll over Borden. Talita with the serve, well it's a Larissa with the serve, Talita in blocking, but that's a good take, one up early, goes over to one two. Good confidence now for the East Berlin. Touch 
touch. Slowing the ball there. He's still to try to go across court. Same as uh, Borden is for Australia. First error from the youngster. who won Seconds then for Australia just to uh, refocus, regroup. 
a loop line initially, went back inside. The cross court blocks being signaled by Talita. She was waiting for it, pouncing, making the block. So now leading by five, nine, four, up. Brings about the overpass. And a clever little chip just under the top of the block. So some crucial points for Australia as we head into the technical time. 12-5, 12 7 to 12 9. Just three behind. with the serve. Oh, decent block from Borden jumping into the cross court. She was practicing that in the warm-up with her coach. And she's done it here just when she needed to in the match. Just right up, right across. Makes a difference, doesn't it, when you can get your hands across the net and get closer to the ball. Can't see once again with the serve. Two back, and that's a slightly wild swing for the youngster. Marissa, no serviço. Marissa, now with the serve. 
Well, he's leaving, but just seemed to be carried on a little further as it went wide. for a fault. It's not a, a problem when you're setting your partner, you can set. Not in your shoulder line, but you mustn't do that when you're setting over the net. A free sweep for two. So it's a... to carry the load as well and distribute it between the two players when one team were going after Clancy with the ability that Borden has to go and swing on the second ball it means that Clancy doesn't have to carry the entire load of passing and then hitting so she needs a decent ball and gives opportunities to swing change they need 15 to 30 defense in women's beach volleyball. The rally still continues. And it's Brazil who take the point. They've got their three point lead back. Is that not far the 
sideline. No, he didn't. He's in corner the top of the net. He just took it wide and it's set point there for the number one seeds. Just a slight step to his left. There's a pass here. It's on the reverse board. Didn't quite go where she wanted it. Couldn't find the angle in there. Brazil won away from taking the opening set, but they're going to have to wait for it. This ball goes up and drops the hammer once again. This time, cross court. from Tilly Quip. Oh, and that is an absolute stunt kick. From the commentary position, he's just gone over the top of Talita. She did very well. Pulled back up in transition. So belt has went just to the side, didn't she? Hardly had any room to work with. That's a good start. Oh, oh. 
there's no challenge system here for the Open. in the second set by Australia, leading by two. Starting to mix it up a little bit more as well and going after Larissa. Could be a three-point lead here. And there is a three-point lead here as they send Larissa left and right, short and long. Australia from the squash at the box. So we're running around behind them. Cross-court's available, and it's taken away by an excellent block from Borden. Block, really hard for Valley in Australia. Come up with the point. Excellent block. Oh, 
Top with their forearms. Australia. A two point lead has evaporated. They're now chasing the game. Give up. 
Vai, vai acelerando, vem. Tchá, tchá, tchá. Great swing, a great effort from Larissa, keeping it in play for a moment. But 
considering that Gordon was taken out almost past the antenna cross court. And then the ball has become difficult but still manages to side it away down the middle. Serving line, although that time not difficult to lead to the pass. Good dig. Confidence is working hard. And it's Larissa who finds an angle to the line. Well, it appeared to be none. Disappointed that she allowed that hard hit to the line, considering Larissa was facing oh, that. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, great point. Larissa just sat on the power line. Gonna hit it hard, great point right there. She was, and then Talita Samuel gets it through the arms of Gordon. Well, neither team can get full control of the ball, but in the end, it's Talita's reverse poke that brings up match point for the number one seeds. Confirmation then of the scores 21 16, 21 16. Here are the statistics from the game. Just tell you just about all you need to know. It really is a comfortable victory for Brazil in the end. So then, time to hear from our winners who are on centre court with Tim Simmons. Everybody clap your hand for Italy team, Nicolai Lupo! Senhoras e 
senhores. Blue Shirt for Netherlands. Uma salva de palmas para os holandeses e gente boa. Congratulations indeed, a concert.